Yeah. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. Little bit. West to LA, that where you find me though. Chacha macho with a t- rocking black clothes. Whip around that Batmobile, ducking five o. If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, little bro. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Uh, let me blow this down a little bit. Drip, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. Today, from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, it's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Miami Dolphins. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. It's an Indian summer afternoon, perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. Detroit gearing up for their opening drive here, led by Matthew Stafford, the veteran former number one pick back in 2009. And frankly, this is the type of game that a great quarterback relishes because 0-2 on the road, Everything's against him and his team. No one can expect them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation. And if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. The first carry now. This is Johnson. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. The numbers a week ago for Johnson. 12 carries, 53 yards, and a touchdown. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first. But they've lost two straight games. So they still want to do that. But they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. 15 yards on the play, first down. And the Lions, first down. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And yeah, that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Second and ten, Stafford again. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 yards there and a line first down. Down. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Matthew Stafford Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Yeah. 
It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Jason Strobridge gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Jakeem Grant on the return. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Desmond Trufant brought him down. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 36-yard line. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First and back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play action, now it's Tua. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. For number 13. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. It's a gain of six. Makes it third and four. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking out nicely. Good English on that punt. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Faking the give to Johnson. Now it's Stafford. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. On first and 10, Stafford. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second so second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. To the air again, Stafford. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. 
On first and 10, it's Swift. They find some open field here. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Johnson, the ball carrier. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. From the 35 on second down, Stafford. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. On second down, Johnson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Also, a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. Open man, it's Preston Williams. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. And to give this time to the tailback. Now the ball comes loose. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. the fumble recovery. Stafford. Open man. He's got him. The tight end Hawkinson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Gain of 25 yards. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 6 nothing. our score after one. With the score, Lions 6. Dolphins nothing. They'll run on first down. Swift. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Jerome call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six at the Dolphins' 14-yard line. To throw on second and six. Stafford. That is caught inside the five. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Touchdown. Willie Sneed. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did. Speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right the now. They're starting to move the ball well. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, and it's third down. From the gun, it's Tua. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So here are the Lions to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, here's Stafford. Caught by Sneed over the middle. Stafford's pass complete to Willie Sneed. Again, a fired that yards. one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. That catch now puts him on the doorstep of 500. It's his 499th reception. Stafford on first down. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They run out of the gun with Swift. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The Lions on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Stafford. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Kyle Van Noy. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Touchdown. Jason short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this position. So the last one, it didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do? Just make sure he congratulates the guys in front 
and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. A first down carry here for Johnson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And Charles, we get a look there at the draft class for this offense. What do you make of it? Well, overall, I like the balance of the guys that they selected because, to me, they got a few guys that can step in and play right away, which is exactly what you want. But they also drafted for the future as well. They got some guys that might need a year or two on the practice squad. So then we'll find it. And he takes this one in for the Lions. Touchdown. T.J. Hawkinson. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Jakeem Grant now to return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. First and 10 at their own 33-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 46. He'll look to throw right away. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. On the crossing route, complete. That's McKinney. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stafford gives to Johnson on the draw. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Second and 10. At the Dolphins, 21 yard line. Here's Stafford now on second down. Caught right side. It's Sneed. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. The Lions on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that will be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And Gold is able to put it through, and that will swell the lead to 16. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, has still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 
That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. First, so the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Parker. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. That catch good for only a couple. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. To chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone, and he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that change. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Stafford going to give it to Swift. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third down. Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Able to fight through one tackle. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And it'll be Dolphin football. Miami set to take over. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Back to the air on second down, Tongue of Iloa. He's going to loft one, deep left. That's caught inside the 20. That's good. And he'll be taken down all the way inside Detroit's 20. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. Intercepted by the Lions. And no reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. 
And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take it. The, and we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 20. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On second down, Tua. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. On is the punter, Hawk, as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. How about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. To the 48-yard line. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, Stafford throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a short gain here across the ten to the twelve. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. 
Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. On first down at Stafford. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Second and 10, Stafford again. And that is incomplete here. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. To throw on third down, Stafford. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Kyle Van Noy drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Here comes Grant on the return. It's a net of 40 there, a punt of 48, and a return of eight. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Danny Shelton muscles his way in for the sack. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And that is incomplete. You always think about picking up the first down, but in this case, they were thinking about something bigger. They were thinking about the home run shot and took it downfield. Unable to connect, but admire the effort. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. This pass into the arms of Sneed. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. They're going draw play, Stafford to Johnson. He takes it to the 15, a nice display of power. That gives him a nice pickup. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Again, it's Johnson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He was brought down. Heavy set out there on third and one. Two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. First down. 
On first down, Stafford here. That is caught at the seven-yard line. A gain of six there on first. It's a pickup from the five, second and four. And four at the five-yard line. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. First and goal at the one-yard line. Operating from the gun, Stafford, and he has his receiver. That's Jones. Lions touchdown. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. 25 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. In the end zone. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Being checked to a hit, and the ball is out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. On first down, Johnson. Johnson jostles free, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards on the pickup, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Back now in Miami. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced a dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. First and 10. 
It's just been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for him. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in a game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's not looking good for him here. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six yard pickup brings up second and four. On second down and four, Stafford, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Nine yards. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, Stafford. Looking for Hawkinson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Detroit. Fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 29 yards. To a tongue of Iloa in the offense heading back out. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Pass interference. Defense. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Two and now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them play running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays right after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. They're going to keep it on the ground, and he'll get in, and they're going to draw themselves two points closer. And so they run it in on the two-point try, and so often, Charles, we talk about, from the offense's perspective, what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. Conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. I don't want to make a story where there's not one, but he threw the three interceptions last week. Looked a little uncomfortable. He looks much more comfortable today. Yeah, just one pick so far in his team lead. So now they can play complimentary football, meaning if he takes care of the ball and his offense, you know, if they're humming along, the defense doesn't have to be out there as long. He's taking care of his guys on the other side of the ball. They're enjoying a fourth quarter advantage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 37-yard line. To throw on second down to Stafford. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Tyler Eifert. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. 
Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Tua. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing now is Tungamailoa. And he comes back with one complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He's airing it out for Williams. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here we go on fourth down. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. I love those plays. Fourth and one, that's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of... To a hit, and the ball is out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Matthew Stafford sack. A little careless with a football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand. Put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. A three-yard pickup. Second and seven from the 20. At the Dolphins' 20-yard line. Operating from the gun. Stafford. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. Stafford's back. Four yards on the pickup. And that'll lead here to a third down. Defensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. It's caught. Jones. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Throwing again at Stafford. And that's incomplete. So the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead. But I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Again, it's Stafford. This will be caught at about the five. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level. Fourth, and the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. It's their quarterback. 
A four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. His kick is and good. his kick is good. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is Jakeem Grant. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Jakeem Grant on the return. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 20. Miami set to take over. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. He's going to loft this one deep left sideline. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. To a hit, and the ball is out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. 20! And into the end zone, a scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. Robbie Gold lining up for the point out. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. Grant sets to return it. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have. And that's caught inside the 35. That's good. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Intended for Mike. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Leads to second and ten. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Ball carrier. Jerome Baker there on the tackle. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. At the 18-yard line. Once again, it's Swift. He's got a first down past the 30. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. on the tackle. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. First down. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Byron Jones brought him down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 38-yard line. On second down, Swift. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. 
Kill, kill, kill. Turn it up. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Stafford hands. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Today's final score. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking, they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the...